Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to go over some stuff I ordered from Bass Pro and I'm going to show you a kind of a neat way to rig the uh, rocket grubs as a trailer. So coming into this I expected to use the rocket grub as a trailer on uh, like a swim jig. So I went ahead and ordered some swim jigs from Bass Pro. Ordered a dozen, a dozen of them and I'll show you what I got. I got two of these black and blue. These are 3 8 ounce weedless swim jigs. I got two of the silver and green, also 3 8 ounce. I got this bluegill color here. I got two whites, because white will match pretty well anything. That's a pretty good natural color. This one is actually not white. This one has got more silver, but it's pretty close. A little more silver in that one. And then I got two of these silver with black. And then I got a different brand. This is a 5 16 ounce, uh, also a weedless swim jig. This one was a little more. Um, and then I got these over here, which I've already rigged. So you can take the 3.5 inch or the 4.5 inch uh, rocket grubs, and you can use them as trailers on the back of these. This is the motor oil in more of a bluegill style. It's got some purple, it's got some green, some silver. It's got the silver head and the little weedless guard there. And you can just see how that hangs. That's gonna have a lot of action when it's falling or you're twitching it or however you're working this bait. That's one really good option as a way to rig these. And another really good option is for something, maybe the water is a little dirtier and you want something to stand out a little more. This is a orange chartreuse and brown, a little bit of black, and this is the chartreuse um, rocket grub here. So these are just some baits out of my reject pile that I went ahead and threw uh, on these. So these look really nice. I think they're gonna catch plenty of fish and this is just a good way to, uh, to rig them. So just kind of wanted to show you guys an option on how you can rig these things. Um, very pleased with how these turned out. I think they're gonna be a vital resource to have in the tackle box. But yeah, I think that's gonna be really cool. Ignore the bubbles in this one. Like I said, these come out of my reject pile. So um, yeah, not bad at all. Good little option. I think these are gonna catch a lot of bass. And I just wanna go over a simple way to rig them because not everybody knows and that's a good option. You can also use like, a, if you had a smaller one, you might could even throw the slouch on the back of it. But yeah, they make really good trailers. You could toss them on a net rig. You could throw them weightless. You could Texas rig them. You can really do just about anything with those, but that's a good option and that's how I plan on using them. So I figured I'd share that with you guys. So if you like the video, uh, drop a like and a subscribe and you'll stay up to date with all my other unboxings and tips and mold reviews and all the stuff we do here on the channel. But uh, yeah, I appreciate you watching and I'll catch you in the next one.